the command that we are going to see here is md and cd these commands are used in the system to make and change directory i will just give you one example in the command prompt that uh, how we can make a new directory or we can uh, change that directory to be as a current working directory see when you are opening the command prompt it will uh, just open the working directory which is coming by default obviously that will be your user id so uh, like you can see here c users and eminem so this is my current working directory and whatever operation that we are doing here it will uh, pick that this as a current working directory but if you don't want the directory in such a case either you can uh, take the ex existing directory from the system and uh, they can then you can start working on that for example suppose i want uh, some other di directory you will just open something that is inside this parent directory or in some different drive also like suppose i am picking my document from this uh, directory and i am just copying it and just paste it here so in such a case when you press uh just hold on yes you need to give cd here okay so it will change the directory to this uh, as a working directory like this so now you can see here documents is the current working directory rather than eminem so if you want to change it uh, to a pre-existing directory you can use the command cd and you can give the path to which you want to go rather than this if you want to make a, a new directory in such a case you will uh, use the command md and then you will uh, give something that uh, doesn't exist in the system like i am giving here folder one okay so what it will do it will create one folder inside documents okay now if you want to see if it has been created or not you just go to my document and just see see this one it has been created here and obviously there won't be any data inside this folder because we have just created it now suppose if you want to make this as a current working directory again you will do the same thing you will use cd command to change it to current directory and this is how it works so generally this command uh, it is used in many places and uh, we will so we will see actually in this example that we are going to take that uh, how it is actually used before that we proceed to the next example and uh, then now the next command that we are going to see here is directory command see what is the purpose of this command we will use directory command to see all the files and folders that are inside a particular directory i will just give you one example that will make you understand it better so suppose we are inside this mnm directory okay and we want to just list all the files or folders that are inside this mnm directory we will just give the directory command when you press enter it will list you all the files or folders that are inside this mnm directory and finally it will uh, at the end it will give you how many files are inside this mnm directory and how many directory are inside this uh, mnm folder so if you are saying directory it means uh, folder inside folders okay so that we will call as a directory uh, so if you want to cross verify it you can uh, go to mnm uh, folder and you can see whatever things are listed here the same thing will come there in the command prompt okay and uh, suppose you want to uh, write the output of this directory into some uh, text file okay so for that um, i just want to write it in a notepad file i will just uh, give it here like this so what it will do uh, just you need to give your uh, arrow sign okay so what it's going to do it will uh, write the output of this directory and uh, into notepad.txt just press it here press enter here and uh, you will see uh, there is one newly created file notepad here that will give you a list of all the files and folders that are inside this directory 
so whatever that is appearing here on the screen that output will be taken into this notepad file by using directory and arrow command and followed by notepad.txt so this is how this command works this is used at many a places okay we will uh, see further some examples of how this command actually works so um, now we will uh, proceed to the next uh, command that is echo command see echo command if you want to uh, display some message on the screen we will use this command i'll just give you one example of how this command works just write echo and uh, anything that you want to like enter the value of variable here okay so if you press enter it will uh, just give you a message on the screen that enter the value of the variable here so if you want to uh, show some message on the screen you will write the echo command so this is how it works we will see some more examples uh, after some time now the next command I am proceeding that is pause command pause command is used uh, if you want to uh, stop the processing in between like uh, there is a set of command that you are uh, running like this is a main example that we will go through uh, here we have written a set of commands okay but if you want to uh, stop the processing of the command in between then you can use the pause command like here you can see so what it will do it will execute all the commands and after it um, interacts with this pause command it will uh, stop the processing it, it is not going to pr process any of the following commands so this is how it works similarly if you want to make the process uh, slip for a particular amount of time then we will use the slip command slip command uh, like here you can see if we are getting slip 3600 it's uh, going to stop the processing and it will uh, actually stop the process for 3600 seconds and again it will resume the process so these commands are also used at many places now the next command that we are going to see here is set command this is also very important command and uh, i will just give you one example how this command actually works so if you want to set the parameter of some uh, variable that you are going to use use in your uh, current uh, command prompt programming then you can just use this set command if you are giving set slash p and you are giving any parameter name equal to enter param1 then you will give a column so when you press enter it will uh, ask uh, you for entering one parameter value enter the param1 and it will bring the cursor here so it means you have to enter some value here so if you want to pass a parameter inside some variable that you are going to use in your cmd programming then you can use param1 here so suppose we are giving the value uh, one two three here and just press enter and uh, if you want to see what has been assigned to param1 variable here you can give echo command echo and then give percentile param1 percentile if you want to see the value of param1 you need to enclose it inside per, uh, percentile sign when you press enter it will echo you the value of param1 that is one two three so this is how it works uh, the same thing has been demonstrated here now we will give uh, go to the next uh, uh, command that is actually ftp command so if you want to uh, test any network connection if any system is active or not that you are going to connect then you can use this ping command it will ping to the other system and it will actually send uh, send some packet value packets to the other system and it will check if the system to which you are trying to connect is actually active or not so here suppose we are uh, giving this as a system name and we are pinging to this system so here you can see it is getting reply from the system to which we want to connect it means we can uh, make a connection to the system 
but now suppose instead of uh, giving the previous system name we are giving we are going to give some different system name that actually doesn't say exist like uh, okay we are giving this as a system name and just press enter so it will tell you that uh, ping request could not find host this one please check the name and try again so it means this host doesn't exist so that's why it is not able to uh, send the package to this uh, system so it is just uh, used to check any kind of connection to a remote system now we will proceed to next command now the next command that we are going to see here is uh, that is also FTP command LCD and CD LCD and CD these commands are used to change the current working uh, directory of remote system and of your local system I have already given you one example of CD how CD works so LCD also works in the same way but uh, I will just demonstrate you it one by one example like if we are giving FTP and we are giving the system name here so it will try to connect to the system it will ask you for user ID and password so I am giving the user ID and I am giving the password here so it's saying that uh, the user ID whatever I have given is logged on now we are we have we are connected to the system and if you want to perform any kind of operation like we want to write the data to the remote system or we want to download some data from the remote system we can uh, very well execute any FTP command here so suppose uh, before doing that we need to uh, make sure what is a, a working directory that we are going to use both for our local system and our remote system for doing that uh, we will use the command LCD if you want to change our local directory to something else so since it is our local directory I will just find anything in our local system that I want to use like if you want to use folder 001 just we had uh, that we had created uh, just now and uh, we will paste it here so when you press enter it will uh, give you a message that local directory has now been changed to this one so whatever things uh, that you are either you are downloading the data from the remote system or you are taking something from your local system and want to upload it to a remote system it will take this folder 001 as a current working directory so suppose you want to download something from the remote system uh, you need to identify uh, what is the uh, folder or uh, directory of the remote system from where you are going to download the data for that you need to set the directory of the remote system also and for this you are going to use cd command um, that will uh, set the directory of the remote system like if you are going to use cd and then uh, something like uh, qzp or something if our data is in qzp so it will work in the same way so this is how this lcd and cd command works now we will proceed to the next example uh, okay this is also a FTP example it will uh, uh, it's get and mgate uh, these commands are used actually to download the data from remote system to our local system similarly there are commands that are used to uh, write data from uh, local system to remote system that is put and input so first of all uh, we will see these examples in uh, the main example that we have written here.